All right, guys. Welcome to part seven of my tutorial series for Godot. Uh, so today I'm gonna cover UI. So I have all these different UI options um, set up already. I'm gonna go over each of them. Plus I'm gonna do the coding for each. So I already had something disconnected there, but I'll make it from the start. All right. So first of all, you have the VBox container. You know labels and buttons, but I'll I'll go over all of them. So a VBox container tries to line everything out vertically. Um, so I have all these child objects. You create one of them, uh, you know, general V box. There it is, and you have H box as well. That lines everything out um, horizontally. So a label, you know what a label is? It just text, and you put stuff in there. You could change the text type, right? Custom fonts could do that but I'm not gonna go over that in this tutorial it's just for a function like what do you do with them yada yada so everything is a control I just have that there just to you know you use it as a speech point I guess then you have a button you could change the name of the button I'm not gonna go over designs and all of that just the function as I was saying then you got a checkbox Checkbox for like you know turning on and off a sound stuff like that. Then you have a menu button. This has items in it. It pops up, makes a pop up window. So you know all of these, right? You have a slider. Uh, you have the H box container. So I had two images in it just to you know show example of like how the how they do how the H box container lines stuff up. Then you have the edit text. And then you have another button. So I want this button to be here to show this pop-up dialog when I press it. And I want it to pop up everything that I change here. Plus the text that I put in here. So let's just run it without anything. Just to see how it works. So you have the button. Doesn't do anything. Checkbox. So you use signals and you can, you can make a signal from code. I'm going to cover that with the menu button. So I have four items in here. So you press it and it opens a, a pop-up dialog with the items. So you're gonna, I'm gonna show you the select one and all of that. Then you have the um, a, a slider. You now, like setting volume or you know, volume and mostly volume. What else do we do? This like sensitivity for stuff. Could go over all of that. And then you have this is just the H box container showing two images. And then text that you could type in here. So I'm gonna show you how to grab this text and use it for stuff. And then you have the submit button that doesn't do anything right now. Because I want it to show this pop-up dialog. So let's get it. So let's create a script. Oops. So here, create script. Uh, let it be tutorial UI. Alright. So in order to get, uh, let's see, let's get a the label first. Could go here. See, on ready. Var label. This says label text. No, just label. Label. You know what? I'm gonna do it the short way. Let's skip all of this for now. And just put it. I don't need that. Let me just do it by by its um part. So you press the number sign. I mean the dollar sign. Then type label. This should pop up. And I see it shows V box container label. So it goes from here to here to here. And select that. Then you could say text. So let's print that out. So go to here print keep in mind this is not a good way to do it it's better to do what i was gonna do before but just the sake of like for the tutorial i'm just doing it like this so print da da da, da and run it Oop, run that and it should print it right there ui tutorial there you go so let's skip down to buttons let's get rid of this put back the pastor that means it doesn't run this function and then so with a button you need to connect a signal so you go here you skip the nodes 
then see you could choose one of these down up or pressed press is the more common one and then you see connect and you need to connect it to the script so it creates this on button press script um, method in the script and there you go so I could just tell it to print label that text all right and then we run that it's pretty straightforward so I have my button look down here where the mouse is there you go UI tutorial you can press it multiple times all right those are the simple stuff but let's close that I'm not gonna use that button so let's remove the um click on it again to remove disconnect so a checkbox is pretty straightforward too the checkbox you don't need to actually like um what should I say save that you only need to like get the value of it so let's see uh where is it hold on over here this is what you're looking for if it's pressed so it needs to be toggle on it's just because it's a button but it, it treats it as a toggle, toggle button so it's either on or off so let's see for example go here oops sorry mistake 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 let's connect you could actually connect it too i don't want to see it toggle button pressed and toggled so it's gonna this is either true or false so print true I mean button oops but and pressed so this will print true or false so let's see and where is it there it is see true false true false true false false all right and then next one I'm gonna disconnect that again I'm gonna show you a, easy, a better way to use it and menu button now this is a tricky one when you press it you'll have an option up here to add items you could name the item I'll just leave them as the default for now and the way you get this you need to get the pop-up menu that comes from it so let's run it again and show you pop it menu you need to get a reference to this menu with all the items in it so in order to do that we have to come back in code there it is and you see on ready bar say pop up menu equals get the menu button here you go, V box menu button. Whoops. Dot get pop up. And then, in order to get the items from the pop up, you have to connect a method to it. So we have to create a method called something, and whatever you want it to be. So call it. Let's call it item pressed. Item pressed and you have to pass in the ID of it so the menu item goes by ID then you can say pop up menu dot get item item text and you have to pass the ID to it so you need a I don't know let's print let's just print it out for now and then we go here and say oh, in ready I'm sorry in the ready method we go pop up menu that connect this is how you create a signal from code so ID you, have to, you could see what um, options you have I think it's ID pressed the pressed whoops and then you need to pass what um 
where the method is going to be called from so it's self so because the method is going to be in here it's this item we're going to use and then we add the I add it as a string item pressed so let's explain this one so in connect this returns id press returns the id but you need to put the id somewhere for it to have use so this method takes an id or we just made that so this tries to put it in here so it sent, passes it down to this item so now we're going to use it to get the text from the id if that explains it so this already works actually it should be working so save and let's run it and see what happens so whenever you do this look down here there you go item one item three item four oops let me click that then item two you get a point and then you can mess with what's the next one each slider this the value is actually um you could use the range or value i usually don't use the signals so let's i usually do it from code so let's use this let's connect this button here submit button so let's go here signals pressed and on submit button pressed so the way I do this is say print then get the h slider h slider that value save uh, right so let's move this over uh, right here and then press submit it's 49 all the way to the end would be a hundred and back to zero there you go and that's how you use a slider so now what's the next one you need to go over as i was saying the hbox slider it does it's just pretty much lines everything horizontally you could duplicate this there you go it just brings it to the right and you could always mess with some ui options here but i don't want to mess with all of those for now so edit text is pretty straightforward let's go back to here let's get rid of these actually i need a submit button i'm going to use it for the pop-up let's leave oops leave those in all right so to edit text let's create a var actually let's just let it print it let's use here so edit text is pretty simple so text so bottom one dot text that's literally it so run could put something here hello Oops. hello uh universe <laughs> universe and then press submit and it's gonna print it out down here there you go hello universe so now i'm gonna do the upset dial Ugh. accept dialogue this is a cool one but let's see stop over here let's create it um hold on. you could actually just do it here see accept dialogue that uh pop up i think wait show I'm trying to remember what the um the code was for it oops that's why it's not working didn't address it accept the uh, the pop up there you go so right here let's run that you print submit should pop that up doesn't have anything in it so let's add something to it so see accept dialogue oops accept dialogue 
dot uh, dialog text is equal to let's get it from the edit text how about that I mean the text edit text edit dot text so we can like change it save close that and then run so I have hello peeps if you hit submit it says hello peeps and then you uh, you know I don't know GG <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there you go GG so with the dialogue you could also change it oops could change the alert to something else you go down here in the option menu like uh what could i put there attention i don't know attention uh it could be resized auto wrap on that helps for you know keep text inside let's see how that works stop run it again let's put some random f f f f f f f f f submit there you go it wraps it keep it in two all right that should be it for this tutorial like and subscribe please <laughs> all right guys take care uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do next maybe i start going over uh some you know how to do specific things in code like with the characters and stuff like that this should be the last tutorial hmm. all right guys I'll see you in another one